we ain't did nothing yet. And I think this whole entire room, we got another level we could take it to. And um, to be honest, man, I'm, I'm just, I ain't hungry. Coach Star always say hungry dogs run fast. I ain't hungry, I'm starving for this. This didn't mean, this, this didn't mean so much to me. When people ask the question of who's the best quarterback in the NFL, the answer could be a number of guys, but commonly selected every time will be Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts was exceptional this season, and I'm not sure people really understand how impactful he was to this team. Let's shift our focus to this play. On this play, the receiver getting the ball is Devontae Smith at the top of your screen, and it actually looks like the Cardinals have this play defended pretty well. But if you look closely, the seam route from Quez Watkins is the key to this play working. The threat of the seam route puts pressure on Buda Baker to leave his area, which allows this dig route from Devontae Smith to open up. But this play is made by Jalen Hurts. Hurts is rolling to his left, plants his feet, and throws back across his body to the right while having pressure in his face. But the separating factor in Jalen Hurts' game is what he can also do on the ground. On this play here, Hertz is able to take a play from no gain to a 25-yard gain as he makes three Packer defenders miss on his way to a first down. And Jalen made plays like that all season long as he finished this season with a 66% completion percentage for 3,071 yards, 22 touchdowns, and only six interceptions, while rushing for more than 760 yards and another 13 touchdowns. So as I said earlier, those numbers have to be top five. Not to mention, he finished this season with a 14-1 record. He led the Philadelphia Eagles to the playoffs in his first full season as a starter, so I'm sure everyone who was calling him a bust have walked those comments back. Furthermore, one of the main reasons Jalen Hurts had this amazing season was because of his deep ball. Rather it was the signing of A.J. Brown or the connection with Devontae Smith, Hurts was clicking on all cylinders downfield this year. He finished number three this season in deep ball passing as he went 20 for 52 for 780 yards and posted a 10 to 2 touchdown to interception ratio. The little things that make quarterbacks great are the things Hurts did really well this season. For instance, on this throw, it was the timing. Hurts is unloading this ball right as the safety is blowing the coverage. Meanwhile, this throw was completed because of the fundamentals. Quarterbacks are taught anytime you throw a fly ball towards the sideline, you throw it high and away from the defender. Therefore, it's in a place only your receiver can catch it or it'll fall incomplete out of bounds. But if those two throws weren't enough for you, here's this one. Now, it's really a great catch by Devontae Smith, but the only way great catches can be made is by the quarterback trusting the receiver even when he's in a bad position and just putting a great ball on them, just as Jalen Hurts does here. Hurts was among the most efficient passers in the NFL this season his six interceptions were tied for fourth among all quarterbacks. On the other hand, Hurts steadily found the end zone through the air this season. He recorded at least one passing touchdown in 10 games, along with eight games with two touchdowns as well. And Jalen Hurts wasn't just having empty stats either. No, no, no. As the Eagles finished this season with the best record in the NFL at 14 and three. With Hurts at the helm, the Eagles have often looked like the best team in the NFL, while also individually reaching career highs across the board, as he helped put together their best season in recent memory. Personally, my favorite moment from Jalen Hurts isn't even football related. It was in the leading moments up to the Super Bowl when the Eagles got introduced and the whole team came running out. In about 15 seconds later, there's Jalen Hurts. Walking. And I use that example to say, having a quarterback who's mentally strong and hyper-focused on the goal also helps this offense be so dominant. For example, in the Super Bowl, we all remember the fumble that he had that gave the Chiefs their only touchdown in the second quarter. But the most impressive part of that was him responding with a 15-play touchdown drive, and he mainly did it himself on the ground. And what we saw that game from this Eagles team lets us know that they'll be back next season and many more seasons after that. But I've already dropped an Eagles team video, so if you haven't, be sure to check that video out as well after this one. Hurts being able to torch defenses the way he does through the air or on the ground is morally wrong. His success this season is an example of the ideal execution you'd want from your dual threat quarterback. He's the engine of arguably the NFL's top team, and Hurts does a little of everything for this Eagles team. But the thing that doesn't get talked about enough 
is even if Jalen Hurts doesn't run, it's the pressure he puts on defenders since he has the ability to run at any time. And that is represented beautifully on this Tebow play. Hurts not only gets one defender to come up and pursue him, but two defenders. And as that happens, Dallas Goddard sneaks right behind them for the touchdown. In 2021, Jalen finished with 139 carries for 784 yards and 10 touchdowns. And even though in 2022 he passed more, he still managed to be just as effective on the ground as he was the year before, rushing for 760 yards and 13 touchdowns. His 13 touchdowns ranked number one among all quarterbacks. And numbers are one thing, but proof is better. Specifically this play against the Lions, as they're in cover two man, because it's the easiest way to defend all the Eagles' weapons. But something we've learned on this channel is you can't go man against a mobile quarterback because if he makes it out of the pocket, there's only green grass in front of him since all the DBs have their backs turned following their man. And remember those weapons I just mentioned? Well, yeah, the Eagles' backfield as a whole was a weapon and the pressure that Miles Sanders was putting on defenders is the only reason this play resulted in a touchdown. But wait there's more. Even when you defend things perfectly downfield and have a defender in place to make a great play on Jalen Hurts, he still finds a way to make something out of nothing. All in all, if you want to go by just the numbers, Jalen Hurts is a top five quarterback in this league. Or if you want to simply go by the film, he's still a top five quarterback in this league. And with that Super Bowl loss, plus his massive new contract providing a little chip on his shoulder, I say the whole league should be on the lookout for Jalen Hurts and the Eagles this upcoming season. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check this video out as well, as I explain not only was Jalen Hurts amazing last season, but so was this Eagles team as a whole. Peace.